we're still within the chapter two lecture notes because if you follow the messaging on Moodle, I send the message about the chapter three material. I'll take you for that next time. We're still in the chapter in the chapter in the chapter two. So the question there says uh, we're looking at the R three space, and we'll look at the set of points which given given by this condition by this vector equation like this. But the parameters involved here, alpha, beta, and gamma, three parameters involved here, they have this condition, in conditions imposed on them. Look at this. One equality and three inequalities. Alpha, beta, gamma bigger than zero. You read it as if alpha bigger than zero, beta bigger than zero, gamma bigger than zero. Uh, the question, well, when you first look at this question, it might look threatening a little bit, but actually it directly reduces down to what we just discussed with you. All you have to do, you have to just rename the parameters properly, and that's what I think we should do. If I just rename my parameters alpha, beta, and gamma with the lambda and mu, with the parameters we used in our previous discussion, so if I call beta just lambda, and if I call mu just gamma, uh, First thing I will say is this one, because, because of these conditions, simple conditions, I can say a similar thing about lambda and mu. They bigger equal than zero, because they're just beta and gamma, they're just different names for the same numbers. Now, the other thing which I want to say is this. If I take the sum of these two, lambda plus mu, which is effectively, effectively sum of beta and gamma, and if I use this identity, if I solve for this sum, for the beta and gamma, if I solve this just for these two from this identity, the solution will be, that's where I made a mistake, I'll fix it in a second. The solution will be like this, let me just fix it. It's of course a wrong one, so it must be. But the important part of this line, so again, I just took the lambda plus mu, I took, I, I look at this identity, I solve for it, for it. Uh, so it's gamma plus beta, and when I solve for it, it's one take alpha. And the important part of it is this inequality, because this inequality comes from the fact that alpha is also positive. If, if you subtract a positive quantity from one, you will end up with something which is less than one, right? Now these two inequalities together, and now I can actually give you what the, this equation will take, what kind of form this equation will take, because if you now replace everything in that equation, if you replace alpha with the solution for alpha, which is one take mu, again, it's, it, it's from here, and lambda and mu just replacement for beta and gamma, this becomes, this becomes looking exactly like, this becomes looking exactly like this, like the vector equation of the plane which passed through the point A0, A2, and A1. And these conditions, these conditions, they becomes looking exactly like these conditions. And so my final answer to the question will be that this set S, this set S is the triangle with vertices A, B, and C. The triangle with vertices A, B, and C. All I did, I just reduced this look of this, of this set to the look we discussed with you at length just now. However, actually, for many, in many books, actually, they prefer very much this one over this one. And the reason for that, of course, is just this, this, this form of a triangle. In fact, in fact, if what you see in front of you, effectively, it's a vector parametrization or parametric equation of any triangle. That's how you describe triangle in vector terms. Of course, you can say, like, a, in, in 3D, triangle is something you know very well. You may say, why do we need that? But as long as, as soon as you move to the higher dimensions, you no longer have triangles in the normal form. So that what will be the triangles in the higher dimensions, something of this structure. And when people study the triangles, or in fact, in general, different polygons, yeah, polygons in higher dimensions, there are lots of applications where these kind of questions are important. Uh, they actually they prefer this form of the triangle rather than this one because this is looks symmetric it doesn't have this you see because with this equation it's sort of like skewed on one side you have lambda and mu here and they have this long bracket next to a vector whereas here everything is sort of like leveled out everything's symmetric that's why they prefer to write the triangle in this form <laughs>